The most common question that I get whilst live on YouTube is how to win more PvP fights as a solo player in DMZ. If this is you, then look no further. We're going to be breaking down a 1v2 that I had recently while running solo in the DMZ. We're going to be focusing on what I like to call DRR. These are three simple steps that I take when I find myself in an unexpected gunfight. First up, disengage. With a TTK as fast as we have in Warzone 2, the first and most important thing that we need to do is disengage. Unless you have the drop on someone and you're ready to fight them there and then, it's always better to dip out, avoid taking any additional damage, and work out where you're being shot from. It's key here to identify how many enemies you're running up against. Next, repositioning. You've got out of the immediate danger, but you're still on your toes. Now's the time to slow everything down and to try not panic about the potential of losing all your gear. You need to be ready to fight any dumb opponents that might try and chase you. With this brief window of safety, we now need to look at recalibrating. This is when we want to reload. Having bullets in your gun is always going to be more important than plating. This isn't, however, to say don't plate up. But what you need to do is make sure that you are plating at the right time. You don't want to get caught in the plate animation with your pants down, not being able to return fire on any enemy that does inevitably peek you. Recalibrated and ready to go, we now need to look at re-engaging your attackers. We want to try and break this fight down however, so you're only taking on one enemy at a time. This is where we can look to take advantage of two of DMZ's mechanics. First, bots. You can use bots not only to bait your opponents with their gunfire, but also distract them as well. Anyone getting shot up by a tier 3 AI is going to run around like a headless chicken. You can then take advantage of this to listen to where your enemy's running. Staying still, they won't have a clue what hit them. The next unique mechanic that we can take advantage of in DMZ is the death mechanic. With the members of enemy teams being downed, one of two things is going to happen. The remaining squad mates are either going to run around, panic and rush for the res, or they're going to play the long game. They're going to be creeping around until they think it's safe to res, and we can take advantage of both of these outcomes. Tactically holding around the dead player is going to guarantee that eventually you will run into the rest of the enemy squad. You want to lull them into a false sense of security, making them think it's safe. Make sure that you hold your shots and have good trigger discipline until you've got a clear line of sight or the res has begun, because you don't want to let them slip away. Revealing your position here unnecessarily could be deadly, especially if there is more than one enemy still up on the opposing side. This is where we then rinse and repeat. We will repeat this strategy, DRR, disengage, reposition, recalibrate until we've taken out everybody in the squad. Don't get me wrong, this video isn't a magic bullet, you still have to win these individual gunfights, but if you do, you'll be gobbling lots of new shiny loot in no time. If you found this video helpful, drop a like on it. If you're new around here, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.